And I think that's why bodybuilding teaches you so much discipline on how to win at life. The video clip that you've just seen came from a longer podcast, Hani Rambad's The Truth with Derek Lunsford. And in this one five minute segment, he talks about how everyone should try competing at least once so you can really learn something about yourself. So I thought I'd intersperse some of my thoughts as the video goes along. First, you know, what did I learn about myself from my first show? I knew that I had kind of an OCD kind of personality. I really like to have an organized day and I do much better when I have organization. It's just my personality type. I learned that I was willing to suffer and having those OCD qualities, you know, made it a little bit easier. Um, honestly, I didn't know how tough it would be. And I also learned that there was a whole lot more to prep than just losing weight. So there was a whole lot I honestly didn't know, understand, or expect when I started prepping for a show. Yes. And that's why everybody who's listening to this should do at least one show. Because when you do that, what it shows is that is how you grow up. That's how you create coping mechanisms. Because if you can do that at least once in your life, you're going to feel like you've sacrificed all the other bullshit, going out at night, drinking with the, on the weekends, you know, putting away the food, you know, in bodybuilding in certain ways there is. And some people are going to be like, well, what about the drugs or what about this? I'm talking about just when it comes to food alone. Yes. Don't pull into the fucking drive through <laughs> yeah. at McDonald's or wherever is, is tough enough for most of the population. But when you have to get up and do cardio in the morning and all these things, it's going to make you a better person. Yes. As most of you know, I am an IFBB pro and I've been competing since 2016 and uh, I still plan to do, you know, a show in 2024. So what have I learned about myself through all these years? And I've learned that, you know, I am, can be extremely disciplined. Once again, those OCD <laughs> uh, traits of mine really kick in and help that. Um, it also showed me that I can tolerate a lot of suffering, and I mean suffering, um, you know, to the point of tears. Uh, and I think I've documented this fairly well along the process. I also learned that um, you can't do this on your own. Um, you know, for me, I I've had to have that emotional support, some mental support, the physical support with the food you know, logistics of everything and hell, I've even needed financial support to, you know, to make this really happen. Um, and I've learned that I really do have breaking points, um, where you can only take so much before, you know, you, you just give out. And so it shows you a lot about your, your character and what you will do when it comes to your breaking point. And when I start to lose it, I eat herring. Uh, I need you know, three or four big pieces of herring and I will feel better. I also learned, I developed my, what I call my professional attitude. This is what I do for my living and during prep, uh, you are always going to be tired and hungry and because you're a professional, damn it. Bodybuilding is the epitome of discipline. Look, like I said earlier, I was a wrestler. I, I, I did many sports. I've done a lot of things in my life, but nothing compares to the discipline that it takes to be a bodybuilder. And so, you know, when I'm going around, it's like, for example, this past weekend and I'm on stage and I get the chance to speak, I like to tell people the same thing. Like, you know, you should compete, right? And, and if you do, you should just give your 100% best effort, follow through and let, of course we want to win, but let the prep, let the process, let this lifestyle that you're living shape and mold you from within. Yeah, we're shaping our bodies. You want to become stronger, bigger, more sculpted, but, but this is really about character building. And if you can build your character through the process of bodybuilding and the lifestyle of bodybuilding, then you're going to have great 
uh, a great outcome, not just in bodybuilding, but like you said, in life in general. And so whether or not you get to the finish line being your show and, and you win, you're victorious, first place, even Mr. Olympia, you know, that's great. That's the goal. But if you don't, if you fall short of that goal, for one, you can take pride in the fact that you did absolutely everything you possibly could to be your best, but you're still winning because you're getting something out of it. You're becoming a stronger, better version of yourself. And ultimately, that's what we should all want above anything. So I thought I'd jump here and tell you the things that I have learned. One of the most important things is, is no two preps are the same. Every year your body changes and, you know, either because you're getting older like me or because of injuries or you're trying to bring up body parts. At the professional level, you cannot do this by yourself. Uh, you cannot do this without a coach. Um, you know, I've had off season coach, prep season coach, you know, for a while I had a holistic doctor working with me. Um, you know, I had somebody helping me with uh, massage therapy, you know, girlfriends helping me along the way, you know, with managing food, um, and my clients having to put up with me during these training times when the only thing I want to talk about is food. Prep is extremely time consuming. A, there's all, all the meal prep, you know, the extra meal prep that goes in, sauna time, you know, the days you're doing double cardio, you still have to do your workouts, you still have to help, still have to work with your clients, or in my case, clients. Um, I don't see how, you, how people do this when they have a full time job. I really don't. I've developed what I call some a bias or prejudice. So when I see somebody in the fitness industry and they have a lot of muscles and they're saying, you know, hey, I can help you diet and I can help you do this, help you do that. Um, honestly, uh, I, I'm not really interested in what they have to say because until you've been on stage, until you've been through a prep, uh, you really don't understand it. You honestly don't. Um, it is something that you have to do, and boy, does it really bring out, it can bring out the best in you, but it can also bring out the worst in you, and you can learn a lot about a person uh, when they are under severe stress. You know, it is severe mental stress, physical stress, so it can bring out some really nasty traits. So... You know, and until you understand what that level of suffering is, what that level of dedication and discipline is, mm, I honestly don't think you should be uh, telling other people how to do it because you just don't know. And that's my opinion. The goal is to go and, 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 and place first and, and, and win and continue to improve your physique, but there's so much that you can improve on with your character, with yourself, and leveling up who you are as a person through like I said, this the process of bodybuilding and the uh, the lifestyle that, that we're living. Yeah, man. I think that you win by just getting on that stage. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. And I think that it's our form of fitness religion. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that lifestyle mm -hmm. is what really helps create the Arnold Schwarzeneggers of this world yeah. and making all of the leaders within our organization. Mm -hmm. What made them so good at what they're at? Because of the discipline. That's right. And being able to focus on a goal and not giving up because it, that's why bodybuilders have such a true sense of being of understanding of sacrifice and i think that that's why this conversation we're having now is so it's just it gives me you know goosebumps yeah. because what it's doing is it's allowing us to share what goes on because we're always looking to improve right he, here are my main takeaways about you know leading the bodybuilder life and competing, how much I'm willing to suffer and how much discipline I have. I understand what real suffering is, you know, to the point where I'm in tears. Uh, I'm, I'm so hungry. I'm so tired. And, <clears throat> and I, you know, I'm a pro, but my God, I cannot imagine and I get shredded, you know, people, you see my pictures, man, my abs are shredded to the bone, man. You can, I have veins in my abs, but I have never gotten to the point, And maybe because I don't have that extreme glute development either, but 
I've gotten veins in my glutes, but I've never truly had shredded glutes. And man, uh, up on those elite levels, I, I don't know how they do it. Sport really brings out a lot of character, who you are and the type of person you are. So uh, I, you feel a camaraderie with other people who compete because they know the pain, they know the discipline it takes, and it is very, very different than the average gym goer who would never attempt to step on stage. I have so much respect for even my athletes who you know, don't end, quite end up with the body that they hope for, but they did it. They went through the process. They stepped on stage because that's something that, you know, it's like only 1% of those gym goers, even probably even less than 1% of those gym goers are willing to step out on stage and show everybody, you know, what they've done over the time. So I really love this video with uh, Hani and Derek, and it's worth watching the entire video, and uh, I'll put a link to that entire video in the description below. You start to actually appreciate the struggles. That's the thing, is like when you've never went through many hardships or put yourself in a position where you had to really dig deep and grind, then it's it's hard to appreciate being in that in that valley so to speak right being in the grind in the struggle in the challenge but once you've done it over and over and over and you've and you've just you continue to fall through and you persevere um you start to learn to appreciate those moments of struggle and you realize it's not just about um the short-term results it's also about you know the long-term character building I hope you've been enjoying this content and uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about it. And I would love to hear about your stories if you have done a competition or if you are interested in competing and wondering how it's going to work out for you. So share your stories below.